Yo, yo, what up? It's Coach D here. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to lose 10 pounds in seven days. And this is a no shit, no bullshit, exactly what I do with my clients whenever they first start. It's one of the very, very, very first things that we do so that way they can, they can actually hit their macros the way that they need to right out of the gate so that way they can get results as fast as possible. Okay, so in this video, here's what we're going to be covering. I'm going to teach you this, the, the little trick that I was just talking about, how to lose 10 pounds in seven days. It's really easy, okay? It's really easy, all right? The next thing we're going to teach you is how to actually eat during these 10 days or these seven days for these 10 pounds, right? And then I'm going to teach you something about how to keep your energy up and then also how to actually work out. I'm actually going to give you like a little one week, like little game plan on how to actually work out so you can burn 10 pounds or so you can, so you can lose these 10 pounds and burn calories during this process. All right. So I want you guys to stay tuned. Now, if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos and you don't know who I am, I'm this dude. Okay. I'm this dude. Okay. I've literally written the book. This is my second edition of this book, literally wrote the book on how to actually get shredded. So all you got to do is just listen to what I'm saying. Okay, I'm the master at this. And if you do that and you do it consistently over time, then you get to look like one of these guys because I'm actually the coach that actually trains high value men and takes them from dad bods to ripped gods, right? That's what I do, okay? So let's talk about how we're going to do this. All right, so the very first thing in order to drop this 10 pounds, it's going to be in two steps, okay? You're going to do a sugar detox, okay? Then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working out each day and I'm going to show you exactly what to do on these, but... First, let's talk about this sugar detox, right? All of you, the reason why you have weight issues right now, the reason why you don't have visible abs right now, and I have a simple little rule when it comes to men, okay? And this is like Damon, uh, this is the Damon Bible, like verse 1-1, one, one, okay? <laughs> You've probably heard this before if you watch my videos because I talk about this all the time. I say it on Instagram and, and Facebook all the time. And it's, it goes like this. If you don't have visible abs, you're fat. And if you're fat, that is a reflection that you are mentally weak. Okay? You already have a six-pack. You just cannot see it because it's covered by fat. And if you have excess body fat, that means you're fucking weak. Right? You have no discipline. You can't get your ass out of bed in the morning. You can't keep your food in check. You can't get to the gym. You can't do what it takes. You ain't a fucking man in my opinion. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to be a fucking man, right? And get you a little jump start on this journey so that way you can actually become a savage that actually has visible abs like men used to 60 years ago. Everybody had abs, okay? You already have them. You, there's just, they're covered by a nasty ass layer of fat. So in order for you to be able to, to, to actually create the calorie deficit necessary in order for you to actually lose body fat consistently and get your abs out, you gotta first... Kick your sugar addiction. What? Addiction? Yes. You are hooked like crackheads on food. And those foods are the sugars and the refined fucking carbohydrates, the breads, the pastas, the crackers, the cereals, the coffee creamers, the energy drinks, the uh, the uh, um, fucking hamburgers, pizza, the all that shit, right? You're addicted to it, and it's by design. These foods are designed to be addicted or to, to be addictive, right? These, these food companies, no shit, spend millions of dollars trying to create the right recipe of certain ingredients that they know will create what's known as the bliss level, okay, because it gets you high, right? And then what happens is when you get that bliss level, guess what happens? You become a crackhead like <laughs> I need to get another one. I want to eat that whole sleeve of Oreos. Uh, I need some, I need some cookies. I need to eat that hamburger. Uh, uh, I need another coffee with a sugary ass creamer that's like a 91 grams of sugar in it. Right? Little bitch. Okay? So I'm going to teach you how to man up and stop being a little bitch and being a slave to your food. All right? So when it comes to you trying to get in control of your body, you have to kick this addiction. Right? So think about this. If you have a friend or you know somebody, you've probably dealt with somebody that has addiction in your life. Right? How do they kick the addiction? How? They got to go cold turkey. So what we do is during this seven days, we do a full on seven day sugar detox. Okay. So what you're going to do is basically eat nothing. Here's all you're going to eat. 
okay, is just protein and low carb vegetables. If you want to eat vegetables, you don't have to. Okay. Now during this period, I'm not even going to tell you, you got to track anything. Now, ideally in order to get ripped, you got to be tracking your macros, but right now we're just going to do sugar detox. Cause this one thing alone is going to have you dropping 10 pounds. Bah! Okay. I've had people lose as many as 20 pounds in a week, man. So just from this one thing, and here's why this works. Okay. The majority of what you're losing is water weight, right? And here's why you're carrying so much. Every gram of carbs that you consume will pull in four grams of water with it. Okay. So you eat a hundred grams of carbs, which you motherfuckers are eating 500 a day right now. Okay, 500 a day average, all right? Astronomical, all right? Um, it's going to pull in four grams of water with it, right? Which, guess what? Makes you puffy, makes you swollen, makes you heavy, right? Now, you've been doing this for decades. This is why you're so damn fat, all right? So what's going to happen is we do this sugar detox. You're going to shed all this excess water, right? But also what's going to happen is, too, is because these foods are also extremely inflammatory, Right. And that inflammation also makes you hold on to um, more fluids and water as well, too. Right. So you're going to be losing the inflammation. You're going to be losing the water weight from the excess carbs. Right. And so what's going to happen is you're just going to go. Psh! Now you're going to lose some body fat during this period, too. But it's not going to be like 10 pounds of body fat. Right. It's going to be 10 pounds on the scale. Right. But it's going to be 10 pounds of actual body fat. But when you lose 10 pounds, Right. It's going to make you look world of difference. OK, for a lot of you guys. All right. So all you're going to be eating for literally and you don't have to eat six times a day, people, in case you haven't heard that. OK, so literally this is all you got to do. So let's just do like a normal if you're just doing like a normal, uh, you know, three times a meal kind of that kind of thing. Eat like six eggs in the morning, have like a pound of turkey here and like a pound of steak. Right. Do that every day. Okay, just do that every day. And if you want to add in some broccoli or some some kind of vegetables with it, just do that. Okay. Just that's all you gotta do. That's it. There's your nutrition for the week. Dun! Right. And here's what we're gonna do. And here's what you gotta make sure that you do not do in order for you to actually kick this sugar detox. Okay. You have to understand something. There are there is sugar in things you don't realize have sugar in them. For example, your seasonings, right? For example, like a lot of the stuff that you use to flavor food, right, has shit in it. When you go to a restaurant, okay, and you order anything, it's got sugar in it. You can almost guarantee it because the seasonings that they use is the nasty shit, right? It's full of sugar and all kinds of stuff because they don't give a shit about your health. They don't give a shit about your abs. They don't give a shit about what you look like or feel like. All they care about is you show back up and spend more money. That's all they care about, all right? So this entire week, no eating out. No eating out, all right? And then what you're going to be doing is make sure when you flavor stuff, just use salt and pepper. Don't use any of your seasonings because I guarantee you most of your guys' seasonings are full of shit because most of you guys use like the nat, the normal commercial stuff, which is terrible. All right. So just salt, pepper, some butter's fine. Right. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. So I need to flavor your shit with. Okay. Now here's what you need to expect when you're doing this sugar detox. All right. Like I was saying, it's, it's an addiction, like a drug addiction. OK, and what's going to happen is by about day two, you're going to start to feel like shit. You're going to be grumpy, crunchy, crabby, probably going to like like it's just everything's going to be getting on your nerves. Right. You're you're probably going to feel like a little uh, dip in your energy at first. Right. Until you do what I'm about to tell you in a second. Um, and then by day three. OK, listen to me what I'm saying here. OK, you're let me show you this. So what's going to happen is on this week journey, this is what it's going to look like. This is day one. And this is day seven. Okay. So what's going to happen is right around day three. Okay. This is the peak. All right. This is the peak of your detoxification. You're going to be having crazy withdrawals. You're going to want to stab somebody. Okay. So, so try to avoid people as much as you can. Sleep. Okay. As much as you can. Drink lots of water. So here's how you keep your energy high, right? Because a lot of you guys are used to running off carbs and stuff in order to keep your energy high. Remember, I was telling you, I'm going to teach you how to keep your energy high. Now, when you're doing this, when you're doing this, okay, when you, especially when you're eating like this, right, you have to make sure in order for you to get your energy levels high and you to be able to stick to this, you have to make sure your hydration and electrolytes are on point, 
Now, I know based off the programming that you've had your entire life that the term electrolytes to you means go get a fucking Gatorade. No, bitch. We don't drink Gatorades. It's fucking sugar water. All right. So what do we drink for our electrolytes? Okay. What you're going to do is in your gallon jug. Okay. This is a gallon jug. What you're going to do is you're going to put a full tablespoon. Okay. Of sea salt in this gallon. And then you're going to drink that motherfucker every day. Okay. Every day. This is going to help flush you too. Right. But it's also going to give you, because in case you didn't know, salt is full of electrolytes. Okay, so what's going to happen is this is going to give you the electrolytes you need, the hydration you need, which is going to increase your energy. Because when you get dehydrated, your energy plummets. This is why every day whenever you wake up in the morning, you're exhausted. It's because you spent six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours, no fluids, no electrolytes, you're exhausted. Okay, and you're, and you're dehydrated as hell when you wake up in the morning. So every morning when you wake up, slam some salt water, within minutes, bing, you would be wide awake. Okay, but this is how you keep your energy high. But anyways, back to my little thing here. During your detox period, day three is going to be the peak. Expect it, expect it, expect it, and suck it the fuck up. Okay, it will get better after day three. All right, and then what happens is by day four, you're a little better. By day five, you're a little better. By day six, you're a little better. And then day seven, and then you're going to be feeling amazing. Right. And then you'll be like, oh my God, I feel so good. And then you're going to step on the scale and you should be 10 pounds down. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. That's how it works, baby. That's how it works. It's just, that's all this is. Now, the reason I do this with my clients, we do the sugar detox, is because it's literally impossible for people to stick to their diet without kicking the sugar addiction first. Right. So when I give them their custom nutrition plans, in order for them to be able to stick to it, they have to have kicked. The addiction. Now, during this, here's the don't do's, okay, on this sugar detox. Here's something that you need to keep in mind. Do not, okay, do not use any sweeteners at all whatsoever. Energy drinks, pre-workouts, BCAAs, don't add any honey, any stevia, any anything that is sugar-free, has sucralose in it. Sucralose is 600 times sweeter than sugar, okay? Which is also what's in protein shakes, what's in protein bars, okay? Is sucralose. That will keep your sugar addiction alive. So do not use these supplements, all right? If you're gonna be, uh, if you need a little extra boost, just drink some black coffee, right? Before your workout, some green tea. Um, you can buy some caffeine pills on Amazon, um, that are like, you know, 200 milligrams of caffeine per, you pop one or two of those, boom, you got some energy for your workout, stuff like that, right? But do not use sweeteners. The second thing that you want to make sure that you're doing, right, is no fruit, okay? No fruit, no potatoes, no high carby shit, no rice, no fucking quinoa, no high carby shit. Why? Because these are technically sugar to your body. Okay, they are technically broken down into sugar into your body. All right, so we're going to avoid these. So the only thing that you're actually going to be able to eat during this week is just your animal protein sources. Okay, animal protein sources, right? We got your eggs, we got your ground turkey, and some steak, right? You can mix this up however you want. It doesn't really matter. Eat some kind of animal protein. Boom, 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 right? Throw in some low carby vegetables if you want to. You don't have to, right? So if you don't want to eat vegetables, just eat like eight eggs instead, right? Just eat a little bit more, right? From your from your protein standpoint, right? But do not use quinoa, beans, fucking, that's not fucking protein, okay? I know the vegans have confused everybody. Protein and quinoa and fucking rice is not, is not, is not protein, okay? Did I say that right? I mean, what I meant to say was quinoa, rice, and beans is not protein is what I meant to say. Okay, they are carbs, carbs, okay? So, so you're just going to eat meat and veggies, meat and veggies, meat and veggies, or just meat, 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 okay? Or protein, 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 right? That's how we're going to do the sugar detox. Now, what's going to happen is make sure you salt and all that stuff too, okay? Your body will eliminate whatever you're not using whenever um, you're doing this, okay? So that's basically how it's done. We're going to do the sugar detox, right? You're going to do that for seven days, right? You're going to go with through, through withdrawals, 
man the fuck up and suck it up. Don't be a little bitch. Okay. And then make sure you're not keeping it alive. Also, the same thing applies to like deli meats, right? Those typically have sugar in them as well, too. So don't be eating deli meats, right? So, um, so that's basically how you're going to eat. Now, let's talk about how you're going to work out during this period. So that way you can drop these 10 pounds. Because when it comes to you losing this, this body fat and losing this weight, you have to burn calories each day. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what your schedule is going to look like and explain it to you. Okay. So now I'm assuming that some of you guys have like, you're probably going to be beginner level. Okay. If you're not beginner level, then just do what you normally do. Just do it every day. All right. We the, working out every day is a non-negotiable non nego What does that mean? Non negotiable. That means every fucking day. It means you don't take days off ever. Okay. So what you're going to do is we have this set up for beginner levels, right? But like I said, if you're a little more advanced, just go ahead and do your workouts. Just do a workout every day. And it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you put some put some effort in and you burn lots of calories, all right? I mean, it does matter what you do because don't be doing just fucking cardio every day, right? You need to make sure you're lifting. But I'm, what I'm saying is it doesn't matter if you do like push-pull lit or push pull legs or you know you do like what i have right here for the lifting days because these are lifting days right here this is a lift day lift day lift day okay and the way that these are going to work is monday you're going to do legs and abs then tuesday what you're going to do is you're going to go depending on your shape okay you're going to go walk or walk jog 10 to twenty thousand steps okay try and find some heels try and find something that's going to make it a little more intense walk briskly don't be fucking lollygagging Okay, you need to actually be burning calories. Try and find some hills and get some sweat going, right? Um, and then as you get better, then jog for 30 seconds, walk for two minutes, jog for 30 seconds, walk for two minutes till you hit your 2,000 or your 10,000, I mean, 10 or 20,000, right? The more you do, the more you burn, the more you lose, right? So it just depends. Are you going to be a little bitch and just do 10, right? And do the bare minimums or are you going to be an overachiever and do 20, right? It's up to you, okay? So, so on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and Sunday, that's what you're going to do to burn those calories, all right? Now, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday is a lift, okay? So Monday and Wednesday, we do legs and abs. Wednesday, back and chest together. Friday, um, shoulders, buys, and tries, okay? Now, here's simple little basic explanation on how to do these lift days if you're not really that experienced, all right? You're going to do nine exercises, all right? Four sets each, okay? times 10 reps all right on this day this day so you're going to do the nine by four here nine by four sets by 10 reps okay nine exercises all right and then uh same thing on here on this one right so do you can do three shoulder three bicep three tricep right so you can do it that way right um and then what you're going to do is monday wednesday friday lift tuesday thursday saturday sunday just walking jogging right? Moving that body, burning those calories, right? Now you follow this for a week. You should drop 10 pounds plus. Matter of fact, you should, most of you guys, because most of you guys are fucking fat shit, okay? Because the average dude in America right now is five foot nine and basically 200 pounds with a 40 inch waist. They basically got about 50 pounds of fat on their frame, okay? So for, for the, the average dude, right? So, um, so for most of you guys that are starting from here, 10, pound, 10 pounds minimum if you're doing this shit, all right? So that is the simple little explanation on how you can actually lose 10 pounds in one week just by doing the sugar detox, baby. This is my special little from the jump, boom. This is how we do it so that way that my, my people can actually – Kick the addiction, right? And then once the week is done, then I'll put them on their macros, right? Then we have specifically, we're measuring everything and tracking the macros, but there's actually hacks to it. They actually don't even need to measure if they follow my hacks, but that's actually how we do it, right? And then when they've done that over time, bam, then they look like this, right? It's literally how we do it, people. It's literally how we do it. So that pretty much concludes everything that I wanted to discuss today. So let's recap. So what are you going to do? We're going to do, so step number one, we're going to do the sugar detox. Right. Remember, day three is going to peak. Right. And you need to be making sure you're working out every single day. Make sure you get your salt water. Right. You're going to be eating basically 
some eggs and veggies, some turkey and veggies, and some steak and veggies. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, done. All right? Ain't even measuring shit this week. All right? So, uh, Vin, you're going to be working out each day. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to lift. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be doing some uh, 10 to 20K, right? And then, boom, within a week, you should be down 10 pounds, baby. And I want to know. I want to know how much you lost. So once you get done with this week, shoot me a message on Instagram. There'll be some stuff down in the in the description of this video of ways you can get in contact with me. Uh, but shoot me a uh, DM or uh, an email or something or a text message and just say, hey, man, I just did your seven-day sugar detox. I'm down 10 pounds. I'm down 15 pounds. I'm down 20 pounds, right? Or, you know, I'm, I'm down eight, bro. I made some progress, but, you know, I kind of have this and only lost eight, right? So, <laughs> so let me know. Like, like, shoot me a little message, right? So that pretty much is all I wanted to cover. So if you guys actually want to learn how I get my guys like you just saw in that video or the, the little photo a, a second ago, how I get my guys shredded in 90 days, reach out to me about coaching. There's also going to be some information uh, in the description below. Um, and I also have some other free content in there as well, too. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be trying to put out more videos more often. Uh, inside this account. I haven't really ever really used YouTube the way that I probably should have. I, I've really, my entire 20 years in the fitness industry, I've only used YouTube as like my, uh, kind of like my little storage bank for videos that I have made for clients. So anytime they have a question, I have a full video where I've actually explained that and I just send them the link, right? Um, so that's basically what I've used YouTube for forever. So there's a lot of videos on my account that are not public. They're only for they're private. That's how. So I've been basically using YouTube as like my little storage bank for all my videos, right? Um, but now I'm actually going to start putting out a bunch more public ones regularly. So to this today's was the how to lose ten pounds in seven days. So. Make sure you subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.